Well, how the hell are you? Today, we're going to take a quick look at Last Night in Soho, the latest movie from writer-director Edgar Wright. Thomasine McKenzie plays Eloise, who is an aspiring fashion designer and nostalgic for 1960s London. She gets accepted to a fashion design school in present-day London, and having lived in the country pretty much all her life, moving to a big city like London is quite the change. She rents herself a flat in London while attending school, and shortly after renting this place, she starts having these very strange dreams about a woman named Sandy, played by Anya Taylor-Joy, who lives in 1960s London. And over time, these dreams become more intense and disturbing, and Eloise's sanity starts to break down. But are they really just dreams, or is something more going on? I was looking forward to this one for many reasons. For one thing, Edgar Wright is involved, and I've been a fan of his since Shaun of the Dead. Very strong cast as well. I love Thomas Ian McKenzie and Jojo Rabbit. And you got Anya Taylor-Joy, Diana Rigg, Matt Smith, Terrence Stamp. And at least on paper, it appeared to have a very interesting story, and judging by the trailers, looked trippy as hell. So with all of these factors, it should be really good. Well, here's the thing. It is really good. Had you for a second, didn't I? I enjoyed this one very much. I especially liked the Eloise character. She moves to the big city to attend this fashion design school and just immediately has trouble fitting in. She's a bit shy and a wallflower and just really not at all cut out for the loud partying college lifestyle, which a lot of people can relate to. And especially if you've lived a very quiet life up to that point, that kind of change can be jarring. And Mackenzie plays this part very well. And then when she starts having these weird-ass dreams, we get to experience the 60s London through the eyes of Sandy. And like Eloise, Sandy also aspired to greatness as a singer rather than a fashion designer. But without giving too much away, didn't really work out for her. Basically, her dreams were crushed because men were pigs back then. And sadly, I'm not sure all that much has changed in the present day. And I do appreciate that this movie did such a good job of showing why nostalgia is bullshit. Pretty much any time you find yourself thinking some other time period apart from the one you're living in now was better, you are almost certainly wrong. Unless, of course, you had that thought in 2020, and then your odds went up a bit. But apart from that, no. And then, of course, as Eloise experiences more and more of these dreams, she just completely breaks down mentally, and it certainly does not help that she has a history of mental illness in the family. And, of course, all of that keeps you guessing whether what we're seeing is real or just in her head or maybe some combination of the two. And some of the visual effects really enhanced all of that. I mean, you could just feel her mind breaking. The only part that I think could have been a bit better is the ending. It was, without giving too much away, a bit more morally ambiguous than I expected, and the situation is probably not as ambiguous as the movie thinks it is. But there is still a lot of good stuff going on here. It's a real mindfuck, and I had a lot of fun with it, and I really recommend checking it out. And that's all I have to say about Last Night in Soho. Till next time, take care.